What do you do when you have too many books and you would love to catch up on, on your book reading? If you have a solution, I'd love to know. Comment below. I'm going to share with you my solution and hopefully you can get some ideas that are helpful for you as well. So one is to feel free to skip pages in a book. You are not some kind of professional book reviewer <laughs> um, that has to get every detail of the book and you have someone to report to that you got every word of the book or every idea you understood or at least got no you are reading a book for personal growth professional growth and even if you got three to five wisdom nuggets great ideas from the book that you can actually apply to your life you are farther along than most people who probably own that book so just skip pages I do this all the time now I look at a page, not interesting to me, just kind of glancing at it, especially if it's long paragraphs. It doesn't matter. The key is I just think if I get three to five ideas from the book that I can apply, I'm better off than most of the, read most of the buyers of this book. Okay, so skip as many pages as you can that don't look interesting because there's too many things to read in the world to labor through pages that, uh, I mean, there's so many other interesting pages, interesting books that will benefit your life and your business, okay? So one is skip pages, please, please do that. Secondly, is to dedicate a day to catching up on reading. So I work Monday through Fridays, and on the weekends, I basically relish having no schedule, except I need to go to the farmer's market to get some groceries uh, uh, on Saturday or Sunday morning. But Besides that, I prioritize reading of books on weekends, and I relish it now. I get to say, well, nothing else to do. I'm going to make some progress on that book. The third thing that really helps me is borrowing books instead of buying them. I mean, wh when you buy books, <laughs> chances are you don't read most of the books you buy, and so they just sit there on the shelf, and they just kind of like wasted money. Um, but secondly, if you read a book, you're probably not going to reread it again. I mean, look, look at most of the books you own. How many of them did you actually reread that you actually needed to own the book? No. I, I mean, it's so what I do is when I borrow books now, I feel this urgency to finish the book before I have to return it, either to the library or to a friend. And as I'm reading the book, I know that I can't, I'm not able to keep the highlights. So what I love doing is just taking some quick notes. Again, I'm just trying to get three to five ideas that I can really apply at this time in my life because there's too many things to read in the world to worry about perfectionism there. So borrow books because then you just write down the ideas that actually matter to you and then return the book, give it back to its, its owner. And you can borrow books from two places, either from the library or from your friends or actually from another wonderful place is other Amazon Kindle readers. Uh, you might know that Amazon Kindle app is free for everyone on the computer or on the phone. The buying the books, of course, costs money, but the app itself is free. And you can borrow books from other Amazon Kindle readers. If they own a book, they can lend it to you for free for like 14 days or something or 21 days. And you can loan a book to someone else too. So in the notes of this video, I'm going to include some links where you can find some Amazon Kindle owners that are happy to loan you their books. And you can go to their profile and uh, find the books that you're interested in and contact them about it. Okay, um, But also your library. When was the last time you went to the website for your, for your local library? Go there. Find out what you can borrow. It's amazing. I mean, just about any book you want to read can either be borrowed or be borrowed through an interlibrary loan which is probably free to you. I do this all the time with my uh, library. If, I, if it's not in my local library, I get it from a library even somewhere down the state, like hundreds of miles away. They do an interlibrary loan for free. So please try these techniques. Let me know how it works for you. And until the next video, I wish you well.